Good evening, Slush. At ISOSPEC, we are building the, health, the human health discovery engine. Healthcare cost is skyrocketing. If we take the US as an example, by 2030, it's going to exceed 20% of their GDP. Now, history has told us that whenever healthcare cost uh, increases, it is the patients who have to pay for it. I don't know where you live, but I live in Switzerland. And in my case, I have seen my bill for health insurance more than double in the past 10 years. Now, the funny thing about Switzerland is that we got actually to vote about this. We had the opportunity to say, okay, now we want to cap what we pay for our health insurance, but people still said no. And the reason is that the perspective of losing quality of our health care is far more scary than paying a little bit extra for your health insurance. Now, one of the main drivers for this cost is the fact that we're living much longer, but not necessarily much healthier. And this is reflected if we look at the difference between our health span and lifespan. And this gap hasn't really changed since the 50s. Ideally, and I think you would agree with me, we would live as long as possible, but also as healthy as possible. Now, a lot of research has been done to be able to try and, and, and achieve this, this goal, but mostly focusing on our genetics with the Human Genome Project, for example. And genetics gives us a lot of information, but looking only at genes explains less than 20% of a human disease. There are molecules which are much more informative about our health than our genome. And these molecules are representing the chemical space of our bodies. These are metabolites, like glucose, for example. These are the sugars which are around proteins. Our health is dynamic, so should be the metrics that we use to monitor it. By looking at these molecules, what we can do is we can have a live snapshot of our health at any given point in time. Now, the issue is that to be able to change this paradigm from getting sick, going to the doctor, to a paradigm where we are preventing, our, uh, preventing disease and trying to monitor our health, we need new technologies. Because the technologies that exist today, they provide inaccurate metrics. Metrics that do not allow us to identify new molecules. And now if we look at the blood sample, there are more than 10,000 molecules that we can detect. Of these 10,000, only 1,000 can be identified. But worse than that is that the existing analytical platforms provide data which is not reproducible. And a recent study which combined results from 244 clinical trials showed that 85% of the molecules that were identified in these studies could not be reproduced in more than a single study. Now, this is obviously a technological issue. And by using better metrics, ones which are unique, reproducible, we can definitely solve this. And this is exactly what we did at ISOSPEC. We've built a technology that allows us not only to generate the same metrics that are used today, but on top of that, measuring an additional layer of data. By using infrared light, we can capture the vibrations of these molecules and then store them in what we call an infrared fingerprint. This fingerprint is unique. It is highly reproducible because it's defined by quantum mechanics. It doesn't depend on the instrument that you use to measure it. And most importantly, it has so much data about molecular structure that we can now identify unknown molecules in minutes instead of months. Based on the te this technology, we built an instrument that we are currently using to build the largest dynamic health discovery engine to enable the transition to preventive care. With this engine, we will have an unlimited coverage, full access to the human dynamic health space. A high, the highest reliability on the market, reproducible data, highly accurate. But most importantly, this engine is fueled by automated compu computational pipelines, which allow us to discover new molecules in minutes. And all the data that we generate, we analyze it with our AI tools, which allow us to extract curate the data, and also extract insights on the biology which is behind these molecules. We started ISOSPEC a little bit less than two years ago, and in these two years, we already worked with uh, several companies on 20 projects. We had a 100% success rate, and we identified more than 22 new molecules never reported before. We have six patents protecting the technology, four of them are already granted, and we, are, we started already onboarding hospitals in our journey, and we have three projects which are currently going on in cancer, cardiovascular disease, and infant nutrition. Now, we get samples from our uh, partners at hospitals. 
we bring them to our platform, the sample prep is automated to reduce variability and then we generate as much data as we can. This data is shared with the clinicians which validate the findings, they validate the biomarkers and then these validated biomarkers can serve for early diagnostics but they can also serve to help pharma companies develop drugs in a more optimized way. Essentially helping them stratifying their, uh, the, their populations in the clinical trials and finding new targets. Now we are turning biomarker discovery into a data search problem. We are generating different data modalities. One of them is exclusive to us which is based on our te technology Cyrus. We get the clinical data from the hospitals and the process goes as follows. We identify the molecules, we look at statistical differences in the cohorts between healthy and sick people and then we try to interpret the pathways which are behind these molecular structures. Now this data is shared with our partners as uh, intelligence to help them in their cohort design, help them in early diagnostics if they are in the diagnostic space and improve patient outcomes in general. We provide them with a tool to look at simple statistics but also to look at the molecules that were identified to follow the, the cohort if it's a longitudinal study and most importantly to also look at the bioinformatics behind and look at the, uh, the metabolic pathways. But our goal is to move into population large studies. We want to have the capability to measure millions of samples and put this information in the hands of patients. We want to be able to, if you go to the doctor or you go to do a blood work, you can look at thousands of molecules instead of five or six molecules that we do today. And for this we are building the capabilities to do so. Our goal is to enable our patients to have this information on their phones so that they can monitor their health and this information will be mirrored to physicians to guide the decisions related to their health. We are currently in the healthcare market. We are working on cohorts and there are more than 36,000 ongoing clinical trials. Once we validate our biomarkers, we will move into a model where we are licensing biomarkers, working with pharma directly and helping them in drug development with 16,000 drugs in currently in preclinical and phase one. But most importantly, we want to go into population health. We want to give access to people control, uh, we, we want to give people control over their health by monitoring all the molecules that are really informative about how they are doing. Now here the key metric is the number of validated biomarkers which we aim at having thousands of them in, by, by 2030 and the capability to measure these samples in our labs. We have a team of believers who believe that the future is in preventive health. I founded the company with my co-founders Stefan and Tom who we developed the technology together already seven years ago at the PFL in Switzerland and we have a team of power horses in AI in uh, data engineering, in molecular identification, but most importantly we have people who have already built in the past biomarker discovery platforms. The story of Isospec as I mentioned started already in 2017 when I started my PhD in, in Switzerland and we were building this technology. We had a grant of 5 million to build it into an instrument and then we decided to create the company by 2022 because we had already requests from customers in the molecular ID space. Earlier this year we raised a pre-seed round of 1.9 million which allowed us to build the biomarker discovery platform and essentially start the engine. Early next year we will start raising our seed round which will allow us to achieve finally this discovery at scale and enter the biomarkers for pharma development. At ISOSPEC we are building the largest dynamic health discovery engine. So if you want to, if you want to be part of our journey now is the time. Thank you.